So what's going on, what's going on, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tay and today we are at Dream Deals in Columbia. Yes, I drove an hour and a half to come to Dream Deals in Columbia because let's be honest guys, I had nothing else better to do in my hometown so why not come to Dream Deals? But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to get as much profit as I can find. It is $6 day here at Dream Deals. And yesterday I went and I found a few good items. So today I'm gonna see if I can find a little bit better items. And as you can see, the line isn't as long as it was yesterday in Spartanburg. So I should definitely grab some good items. But um, I'm gonna go sit in my car for a few minutes before I go wait in line. Like I said, it's not packed at all, but Thanks for watching the channel, and if you are new to the channel, my name is Dante. Welcome to Prison of Profit. I like talking about money, how I turn to a dollar and make that into another dollar into another dollar. Pretty much that's the goal in every video. Teach you a little bit of nuggets to help you get motivated or just give you a little bit of knowledge so you know exactly what to do when it comes to the sourcing or just anything when it comes to eBay, Amazon. But I am rambling. It's time for me to go. I will check you when I get inside. Okay guys, you know what time it is. Six dollar day, like I said, it's time to come in and get all the items I can. Got here fairly early, so as soon as I walked in, you can see I picked up this drone and then literally start picking up items kind of like back to back as soon as I got in the bins. So that's pretty good. So when I get to the bins early, I kind of realize I'm usually finding like the most profitable items getting to the bins early. I mean, don't get me wrong, when I get to the bins a little bit late, I always find good items, but I find like great items when I get there early. So I'm probably gonna start getting there a little bit earlier so I can get the best items. But anyways, as you see, as I picked up this other drone, yeah, so I'm in my mind, I'm making a killing right now as I pick up this baby monitor. And I'm saying like, this is literally back to back. And you can see like everybody else is starting to get in the store as well. And it's starting to get a little bit full. And I'm pretty sure my significant is over there grabbing some good items as well. But as always, we will review that when we get back to the house. I just know that people love watching me go through these bins. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like watching me go through these bins sometimes too but only when i get like profitable items but as always guys if you're new to the channel just thank you for watching the channel and um watching me source and just coming with me and these several vitals very profitable items and you'll see in a few minutes or actually a few seconds i should be running into another one because when i saw the second one as you can see i actually stop and take my time and scan it because usually when i see items one or two in the bin i want to just grab it before i fill up my bin with that one particular item that's not worth any money but when i scanned that item i was kind of shocked at how much it was worth but back to the source and as always guys i'm not gonna make you go through every single second of me going through these items because we will be here literally 20 or 30 minutes which is really not that long but yeah, i'm not gonna make you do it i'm gonna go ahead and go to the side sort all these items out and pick out exactly what i'm gonna take to the house and exactly what i'm gonna put back in the bins and calculate my profits and then we're gonna go to the house and figure it all out together but until then enjoy this little bit of footage and i'll see you at the house See if I can run into Harry. I don't know. Oh, there he is. What's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Anything? Uh, yeah, I think so. You know, I always I think, think so. I always think I do. I thought I just saw you post something about getting. Yeah, that's my own. I did. I mean, literally for the past weekend, all we did. I haven't been sourcing anything, man. I thought I was gonna hire somebody. I thought they were gonna go through with the name that had to get rid of them. So it's like I, yeah, doing myself. So that's how I'm done. So now I'm not. I ain't working on it. Yeah, I just, yeah, it was horrible. You done? And before I do go, I just want to show you that um, you can take items to this area. They have an unboxing area where they can actually open items up and you can see the condition of items and see if they're new, if they're 
used or sometimes they have boxes that you have no idea what's in them and you can take them to the side and they will open them for you so you can like see exactly what's in the box so as you can see i had like all the drones opened up and we had like the samsung headphones opened up as well but we really didn't get any of the items like tested but when we got home we figured the um only one of the earbuds worked for the samsung but we probably could still sell it but we'll probably end up just keeping it or something uh really haven't decided but you'll see the rest of the products when we get home Hey guys, um, left Dream Deals, stopped by Goodwill real quick. Roam for about five, six minutes. Didn't really find something. Actually, I found something that intrigued me. It was a stack of books. Um, if it was like half off there, I might have got them, but I don't know. Maybe they'll be here when I come back next time. But we did get this uh, Swiffer mop, looked up to comps. I bought it for like $6, and I think comps were like 30 or something like that. So that's pretty good, but I might also keep it. But yeah. GoPro about to die, or it did die, technically. Go ahead and go to the house. We're gonna check out some of these items when I get to the house and see what kind of profits I got at Dream Deals and the profits I got here. So I'll see you when we go back to Greenville. Nice little drive, and I'll check you when we get to the house. Okay, guys, we are at the house. Let's go ahead and go over all these items that we got from Dream Deals today and uh, that one item that we got from Goodwill. Actually, we'll get that one out of the way now. This item was found at Goodwill. This is a swivel sweeper. This is a uh, brand new actually. Uh, bought this for six dollars. Has like sold comps of like thirty dollars or so online when I looked it up in the uh, Walmart. So, you no, know, I should make around twenty bucks on this item. Hopefully, can't beat that. So that's a nice good uh, a nice Goodwill find. It says retails for forty dollars. So, you know. That was a pretty good find. And they were putting like items out in Goodwill while we were there. So that was pretty, pretty clutch. It was worth the stop. And then we're going to get into these Dream Deals items. And guys, I just want to let you know right now, do not hold me accountable if you don't see a bunch of pop-ups with the prices next to them. Because that is very time consuming, guys. Just letting you know. And we got some pretty good items. So I'll probably end up putting the prices next to them. But anyways, if you don't see them, trust me. I'm not gonna lie to you about the profits and everything like that. And hopefully you'll see them on some what sold videos coming up anyway. But as always, before we get into these products, if you haven't hit that like button by now, make sure you hit that like button for your boy. And if you haven't subscribed and if you've made it this far in the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And if you don't like the video and you've made it this far, go ahead and hit that dislike button. And I appreciate you making this far in the video. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into these items. And uh, shout out to uh, Josh. You know, we saw Josh today aka Harry Tornado and shout out to Jared who uh I met in while we were in line we were just sitting in line talking you know what I'm saying uh he's one of the Instagram people that we connected on Instagram so cool no that, that's what's up uh, anyways I'm rambling let's go ahead and get into these products the sign I pulled out the bag was gonna be this bronze silk uh I bought this item for six dollars do I think it's gonna sell for that I'm not a hundred percent sure but of course I'm gonna open it up make sure that everything's okay on the inside of it but uh I was shocked when I saw the, the um, price for this item, to be completely honest. And yeah, okay, right here, $69.99 is what the comps are on Amazon and I'm restricted. So yeah, $69.99, but I'll put it on um, eBay. Then these Samsung earbuds were found and these don't want to lie on this price. <laughs> Had comps for $100 on Amazon. And obviously these are probably used. But um, we had them get opened up. And they are definitely in here. And yeah, so hopefully we'll, get, we'll sell them for around 80, 90 bucks or so maybe. We'll probably keep them. I'm not sure. But it's a good item that we found for $6 a day. So just want to show you what can be found. And then the Ciro Vitals, we have two of these. Let me be sure I look this up again so I'm not lying. That's a pretty good sales comps on these as well. Um, I want to say it was... I want to say it was several, several dollars. Yeah, so we have sold comps of $55, $70, $65, $73. 
54, 58, 54, 69. So yeah, we have some pretty good sold comps on this. So hopefully I have two boxes. Got $6 into each of these. Um, I should earn around $40 per box. So we have these collagen um, pills. These, they're collagen enhanced pills. Yes, and these collagen enhanced pills are selling for $53.95 on Amazon, but I am restricted, so I'm gonna have to find another platform to sell it on, but I should profit over $40 on this item as well. Then we have this like a computer chip piece. What is it? Yeah, some graphic heat sink graphics fan, I don't know. So this AMD Ryzen 2100 desktop processor with Ralph Stealth Cooler is selling for $178 brand new and it still looks sealed so <laughs> yeah and it has a rank of 86 in pc so that means as soon as it gets to the yeah that's that's gonna sell as soon as it gets there so yeah 178 dollars is what it's selling for it says my profits will be 159 dollars on amazon probably end up putting it on ebay or something if it has like similar sales comps but yeah that's that's pretty good and i can i can sell it used so yeah, if I sold it used, my profits will be $105 after eBay takes their fee. I mean, Amazon takes their fees. So, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Got that for six bucks. So, already, most of those items are over $40 profits. So, yeah, we're already in there. Then we're going to pull out this drone. Uh, this drone is definitely in there. I had them open it up before I purchased it. Um, everything looked kind of new in this box. And it's just so light that it kind of scared me. Um, yeah, this box is like super light, super light. This box might be under 12, 13 ounces, to be honest, man. That's how light this box is. Uh, but it has comps of $75.85 new. Um, again, everything we got was $6. Amazon is selling this for $75.85 by themselves. So I know I can get sneak under Amazon prices and probably sell this for like 69, 70, 69, 70 bucks or so. So. That's a pretty good steal on that item as well. Dream deal is coming in the clutch. Um, this is an Amazon item. I'm not gonna look it up. I think I'm only gonna make like 20, uh, it's selling for like 20 something dollars or so. Then we have another drone. Yes, today's drone day. Drone day and drone day accessories. So if you need a drone, come holla at your boy. But uh, yeah, so we got some drones. This drone is, I think it's more, more profitable than the other drone. Yeah, so this drone is selling for $119 new and it's got a little fancy camera on it or something. Huh, pretty cool. So uh, yeah, this drone is selling for 95, my profit is $95, so it's selling for like 119. So that's two drones, guys. That's $200 just in drones. So that's... <laughs> I don't know why I start doing this too. I'm, I need to stop doing that. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty good profits. And there goes another one of these brawn things. This is the one that's probably, I said, was worth a hundred something dollars. One was worth a hundred something dollars. Because when I, when I scanned it, it blew my mind. I was like, why is this little thing right here worth a hundred dollars? But this is one of the items. Yeah, it says this brawn lifter $147 is what it's worth. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. That's the um the one above this one. This one's only worth $124. So my bad. Uh, yeah, so this item's selling for $124. Uh, I'm not sure if it's new, used. We'll do some more searching and digging, but if it's used or lightly used or open box, I'm not sure. Uh, still should get around over, over $60 for it on the very low end. So we'll just go and save that. Then we have another Phillips wet dry shave. Um, significant probably found this so i don't know how much it's worth let's see shall we 34 dollars and 99 cents is the sale price uh profits 26 dollars so after you take out my uh six dollars i paid for it i should profit 20 dollars on this item uh, but amazon is selling it for 54 dollars um people are lowballing it for like 35 and amazon is selling it for 54 so I might just try to wait and hold off on this item a little bit longer and just try to squeeze a little bit extra five dollars out of it. Probably not, but so I probably I should earn like around twenty dollars on this item at least. Then we got these um, Gatorade Energy Chews. Um, I think they're only selling for like twenty five bucks. 
Um, so I would only profit like eight, nine dollars on that item or so if I sold it. We found this Sonic Care um, replacement heads. I think we found like a six pack selling for like 30 something bucks. So this is an eight pack. Should sell around for around the same, right? At least 40 bucks or so. So, you know, pretty good find right there. Then we found these two books. Um, I want to say one of them was very, very expensive. And one was like 40, 50 bucks. And the app that I'm scanning on right now is the Amazon app. Um, I do scan with the eBay app sometimes, as you see, and I usually tell you. But yeah, this book right here is selling brand new for 50 bucks. Um, Amazon is selling it for $74.99. And this other book, this book right here says it's selling new for $168.99. And uh, used, it's selling for 50 bucks. So definitely used. So I should, should profit around 20 something bucks on that item or so. Wish it was new, selling for 160 something bucks. <laughs> Can't beat that. We found one of these um, Zayukang cranes or whatever you want to call it. One of those, you see that? One of them little, little doozies. Put it back in there, but. Can't believe that was in there, to be honest. Okay, so. Um, Zion Crane Stabilizer is uh, selling for $269. Yeah. Just want to double, quadruple check, make sure I'm not looking at the wrong thing. But Amazon is selling the brand new for $289. Obviously, I don't think this is brand new. And I can't sell it in new condition anyway on Amazon, but I can sell it in used condition on Amazon, which is wonderful. Um, so if it's selling for new $289, this should sell for $240, $230, $225 easily. Um, so yeah, and that's a rank of incredible. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. $200 and something dollars in this item. And then we had like the, uh, two boxes of pills or whatever that were that what I said forty dollars and those that's eighty. We want to add the other, other earbuds a hundred dollars. The books together a hundred dollars. Um, the drones a hundred and fifty bucks. We'll just say together. Uh, the uh the the piece the little whatever piece that was the little you know piece I'm talking about the this thing over a hundred and something dollars we said right. <laughs> like that's crazy. Like we, I understand, I realized like we were excited about the things that we got today. We thought we got some pretty good items, but <laughs> yeah, man, you can't beat that for real. And I still got like an incredible item in the box. Like this right here, this baby monitor. This is a baby monitor with like a five inch, um, yeah, baby monitor with a five inch little display and the little camera and all kinds of little, little stuff. And I looked this up earlier. Can't remember the profits. Please don't don't um, don't hold that against me. But let's look them up real quick. Boy Fun profits is fun, but this is called the Boy Fun Baby Monitor. The Boy Fun Baby Monitor 720. I cannot sell this product in new condition. I cannot sell it. At Oh, I have to sell it in new condition. Okay, and this ain't new. But uh, we'll throw it on eBay. Didn't say the price, did I? Yeah, it's worth 42 bucks, I think. It was selling for $42, and that was a new, I mean, that was a used selling price. Um, So new, I'm sure it's gonna be a little bit more, and I don't really feel like taking my time to look it up. Uh, maybe I'll leave a screenshot here, or maybe I'll just leave a screenshot of the used price that I just saw on the eBay app. But uh, yeah, on the eBay app, I think it said $42 and some change. Let's go back and look one more time just to make sure. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but probably can't see that. But it says $42.90. My profit will be $30.82, but then you gotta take out the $6 that I purchased the item for. So then my profit, I mean, my um, then I, that means my profit, I would profit like $24, $23 or something like that on that item. But again, we can't send it to Amazon. Then we found this autographed, um, forgot this guy's name already, some boxer named Big Daddy something. Okay, so uh, yeah, this Hall of Fame boxer, his name was Riddick Big Daddy Bo. Big, I'm not 
really not sure exactly who it was, but I got it just because it came with the authenticated thing. It's some of his boxers. I mean, and he's a retired Hall of Famer. His record was 43, one and 33. So whoever that boxer was, don't have comps on that obviously because I don't know, but I saw some of his stuff. Uh, I believe he had like a signed pair of gloves going on Amazon for like 50 bucks or so. So I'll probably just hold on to that for a little while. I'll probably just hang it up on my wall or something. Just do something with it and just, so I'll figure out a price. If it's like worth a hundred or something dollars and I'll sell it. But if not, we shall see. Headphones that are irrelevant. Um, this little, this picture thing right here, I want to say it was kind of expensive. I can't remember. And did I just open it? Okay, I thought I just ripped off the factory seal, but I didn't. Yeah, these flash cars don't have any price by them, but the other flash cars that have prices by them, brand new selling for $116. Um, again, that's not this particular card, but the same company, just a different, uh, I guess, but one's autism learning picture cards, and these are autism education a APA therapy cards. So these are flash cards too. So these are the second, the second version of the first one. So the first one sold for $116. Stop. Fast. Stop. So the first one sold for $116. So this one probably sells around a similar. So I'm just gonna save around $100 on this item too. Possibly. I'm not 100% sure, but if the first one sold for $100 something dollars, the second version has to be selling for a similar price because the second version is usually better, right? So could be possibly another $100 item. We found this uh, PS4 game. I think the comps were going for like $30 and some change or something like that. It's called Bloodborne. And this is a Japanese edition. So um, yeah, I think the American edition was going for a little more, but yeah. But then this is a um, camera for a drone. Uh, looked up sales comps. I guess I can scan it real quick and just give you prices since I can see the barcode and I can ramble at the same time. But it doesn't have a price buy it at all on um, Amazon and on eBay. It pulled up as a $20, $89, and that's it. You see two of them, one's for $20 and one for $89. So I'm gonna try to go to the sold comps and see what happened. Yeah, sold for $20 and one was $15, but they both look totally different. So I don't know. I'm just gonna say more research on this, but it should be at least a $20 item if I'm sampling this. I should make at least $5 on this camera. So it's a drone camera. So we're gonna say I'm gonna make at least $5 on that item. Um, they were almost done. Then I got another drone. Uh, somebody came up to me and recognized him, me from my channel. Um, so I appreciate that. And they said that they saw a drone, but it didn't have any, um, the propellers on it. So I said, you know, you might come order some propellers or something. Plus I got a camera on it. So I can probably use that for myself. So thank you. And you know, if it doesn't work, it's, it'll be okay. I only paid $6 for it. So that's three drones. And then this computer camera piece right here, I think this goes for a camera, but we're not gonna get into that. Um, and then right here, So, souls comps are the, uh, I'm lying. I was about to say soul comp, I'm lying already. I ain't even got far. So we're gonna look at the soul comps real quick. Okay, souls comps on this item is $39.95, $38.99, $80, $24, $49, $49, $56, $44. And now I'm looking at rocks. Not even looking at the right price item, but yeah. You see the first beginning was the sales comps. Um, Yeah, so this might be a $34 item. You can't beat that. Oh, uh, that's it. That's the last item that we got. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's all the items that we got. Um, that was my trip for the day. So thank you for coming along and sourcing with me at Dream Deals on Six Dollar Day and that one stop at Goodwill that we spent in Goodwill for about fifteen minutes or so. And I'm really mad about those books. I should have like filmed me. Should have filmed the books that I'm talking about that I missed. They were going for like two dollars, but the sales comps were like I don't know. Like one book had a two million rank, one had a. Million, it was just all over the place. So I just really didn't want to mess with it because um, I'm trying to be very a little bit more particular about the items that I do purchase. But the old me would have got bought all those books today. Not gonna lie, and took them two dollar profits. But uh, I didn't. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, why am I talking about an item that you're not even being able to see? But uh, yeah. Uh, Mm, giveaway 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 should I do a giveaway 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 here's what we're gonna do um if I get we're gonna say if I get 100 likes 100 about 100 likes on this video I will do a giveaway on the next video that's what we're gonna do I never have a like goal we're gonna say 100 likes and I'm gonna do a giveaway uh should it be a hundred dollar giveaway it might be a hundred dollar item giveaway 
or something. I don't know. Anyways, guys, as always, just want to say thank you for coming along on the journey with Tay. And uh, just thank you for being there with me as always, man. Thank you for like, sharing, and subscribing. And just thank you for just, you know, just everything. For real. You come in and sit down and you put on YouTube and you put on my you put on my channel and you just sit there and watch me for a little bit and I really am thankful for that you know because again I watch certain youtubers and I know the importance of sitting down and taking and watching particular people so anybody who sits down and watches like a clip of my video or even like especially those who watch like my entire video man I kind of know who you are by now and I really 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 appreciate y'all and uh it really does mean a lot man and uh yeah but anyways i'm rambling and i just want to say it's time for me to go because i got a lot of work to do guys um yeah but as always uh as always thanks for like sharing commenting 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 and subscribing and i will see you next time because right now your boy tay is out